I remember when I first put the wedding ring on my finger. It felt odd. It felt out of place. It felt like a uh, like something was stuck and interfering with the natural movement of my hand. Well, 21 years later, when I took that wedding ring off, I couldn't have felt more out of place. It felt like everybody in the world could tell that there had been a wedding ring in that spot and now it was gone. The flush was indented and there was a very distinctive tan line. It felt like there was a spotlight on me. Like it was very clear that I was suddenly single and unintentionally alone. Now, five years later, my perspective has changed a bit. And I see those men who are still married and I live in a suburban neighborhood with single family homes, all mostly with families. And I am definitely the outlier, but not in a bad way. I feel like the squirrel that lives in the tree at the zoo. He's free to come and go. But I bet the lions in the cage are jealous of his freedom. And I feel like that squirrel. I've got my entire life. I'm in complete control. And I'd much rather be the squirrel in the tree that lives in the park at the zoo than the lion in the cage. I have become undomesticated. And being an undomesticated man is a wonderful experience. Society has a set of rules, guidelines, roles, social constructs that we accept that create a paradigm. And this paradigm is essential to the proper function of society. If the paradigm breaks down, then um, society ends up with some level of anarchy and perhaps even some level of uh, transition that has to occur. And that happens when people stop buying into the paradigm or for some reason they are forced out in mass. So, as we're seeing the breakdown of marriage, there's no question in my mind that we are seeing the beginnings of the end of the current paradigm. Don't know what's gonna follow. I don't know if it's gonna be a complete societal shift or if it's just gonna be the way relationships work, but there's definitely a breakdown in that societal paradigm that is dependent on you know, the family and marriage and, uh, and all that just to make things work. When you think about it, it's integrated into our economy, into our political system, everything. And key to that whole process working is um, domesticating men. That is such a critical, critical element to this whole process. Is, uh, society needs men to buy in because if you've got men running around that have not bought into the, the system, then, well, that becomes a problem. You can just imagine, you know, you would have, uh, you'd have beyond anarchy, you know, it would just be uh, mayhem. And, uh, and I think everyone kind of knows that. So I find it really, really interesting as we're approaching this, this transition on this change and we're seeing these social changes in our culture, how um, people are reacting to it, you know, and the reactions are really, really subtle, but they're very distinctive. And when I took that wedding ring off my finger, the implications of it were so much greater than what I had realized. I was initially ashamed that my finger had that tan line in that dent that seemed to take you know, months and months to disappear. Um, but now the dent and the tan line are gone. And the feeling of even having worn a wedding ring is gone altogether as well. And living where I do in this very, you know, 
middle class suburban neighborhood with lots of families and uh, and married people. It's um, it's very very interesting. There's another single guy in my my neighborhood. He's got a little single family house, and he lives like right next door to me. So that makes it even funnier. But uh, yeah, we are definitely the outliers. And uh, being an outlier in an environment like that is fun because uh, you're kind of a threat. You know what I mean? And being that undomesticated man, you know, it's kind of like being that dog off the leash that everyone is kind of sprayed of. And uh, yeah, we're, we're off the leash now. I try to read all the comments because Number one, if you took the time to, to write the comment, then I definitely need to take the time to read it. Last month, there were close to 11,000 comments. I don't know, maybe more. It was an incredible number of comments. Um, and I appreciate every single one of them. So this one narrative that I read frequently is that um, being single makes people feel ostracized from society, that they feel um, some form of shame for their experience and they feel like society looks down on them. And I found that really fascinating and I wanted to make this video really as a reaction to that narrative because I disagree completely. Um, like I said in the beginning, I feel like, you know, I feel like the squirrel in the tree, you know, I don't care. If you are a lion, if you're in a cage, yeah, you're worthless. You know what I mean? Like you, you're, you're stuck. Your, your actions are limited. You are, um, you're in prison, and uh, and I'm not. So, I think that I got the better end of the deal. You know what I mean? I don't think it's a uh, an issue to feel shame over. I think quite the contrary. I think that um, being single at this stage in life is without question a dream come true. I mean, it just surpasses anything I could have possibly thought. So let's talk about it. You see, not having the ring on my finger is an indication to everyone that I am not subject to the paradigm. I live outside of society's predetermined roles for men my age. I am not restrained by those conventional ideas, thoughts, beliefs that have dictated the, the um, destiny, destiny of you know, millions and millions and millions of men who have come before me. I am off the, uh, I'm off the grid in a way. And uh, being a little off the grid and being a little free to be my natural normal self is... Um, yeah, it's, it's a blessing. Yeah, I, I don't see it as a drawback in any way at all. And it's not uh, being ostracized that I feel or being looked upon you know, in a negative way. I see fear. I see concern when I see uh, people look at me. You know, They're a little wary of me because I stand outside of what they think is normal. So they're, they're a little... They keep an eye on me, you know, they're a little worried because I am an outlier in their world. I'm a threat. And I kind of like the way that feels, just a little bit. There's a lot of very attractive, you know, young married women in my neighborhood. Not that I would do anything about it, but it definitely keeps a lot of those guys on their toes, <laughs> you know? I see the way they look at me, you know? Not having a ring on my finger means, ooh, I am uh, just a little dangerous and, um, a little unpredictable. Because so long as you have that ring on your finger, you're part of the paradigm. You know, you're stuck in that uh, conventional way of thinking and believing and living your life. And when you take that ring off, ooh, yeah, you change everything. And not only that, but yeah, you're free to live your life as you see please, as you please, as you want to. Um, yeah, it's... It's a fun way to be. And, you know, I know that when guys are going through the divorce, you know, I did that whole video yesterday or the day before on betrayal. And I know the pain and the suffering. God knows. I know it. But I'll tell you, if you can just let go of that, if you can just let go of that identity of being a victim of this 
terrible experience. Because you are, you know, and if you want to own that role for a while, it's your God-given right. My God, you got to mourn it, you got to let it go. But once you break free of that and you rediscover what it is to be a man, not the squirrel in the tree, but imagine if the lion got out of the cage, you know? Because that's kind of what's happening here, you know? Like somebody left the door open and now the lion is free. And now all the squirrels are a little scared. <laughs> but my metaphors are all getting mixed up. But anyway, um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta look at this as a great opportunity because it really is. You know, being an undomesticated man, ah, it changes everything. You're no longer, I mean, just around your house, you know, and thinking about the way your wife forced you to follow her rules and guidelines, and you complied with her way of wanting to do things and housework and whatever. Just all such a pain in the ass, you know. You just do it on your own natural rhythm, your own natural timeline, you know. In fact, I'm going to make a statement here. I don't think a man be can become fully realized until he's gone through that process of being married and having a family and then getting a divorce and leaving it behind. Because I think that whole process, I mean, it is a crucible of, of emotions and, and, and issues and problems. And, and it just forges you into something much, much more powerful, much stronger, much more independent, much more capable, much more um, unyielding. And yeah, I think that, uh, I think that's actually a really great opportunity if you've come through that crucible of divorce and you have um, maintained your peace of mind and you can find it again, I guess, find your peace of mind um, and recreate your, your, your lifestyle in your own image. Yeah, there's nothing like it. Yeah, there's nothing like it at all. Being an undomesticated man means that you've got the keys to your own life. And maybe for some guys that's more than you can handle. But um, for those of you who can handle it, it's, uh, it's like having the keys to the cage, you know? You're, you can literally create the life that you want to have. I think the problem that a lot of guys have and why getting the keys to their own life is a little bit of a, um, a daunting thought is your entire life you've been told what to do next. Your entire life you've been told what the next step is. You, the, moving from one phase of life to the next phase of life to the next phase of life has been a predetermined journey. And now you're finally off the trail. You're off the path that has been worn long before you ever got there. You know where that path goes. And now you're on a different path, one that has no clear destination. Only you can choose it. And I'm telling you, don't be afraid of what lies ahead because you're gonna die anyway. You know, I mean, really, that, that's gonna happen. You're, you're gonna freaking die. So just get past it and live your life. Live it now. Live it hard. Live it fun. Live it the way you choose to live it. Um, give back to others. Take wild trips. Make some new friends. You know, get hammered. Um, watch football. Uh, travel the planet. You know, get out and do stuff. Just, you know, meet some new women, make some friends, get some benefits, you know? You don't need to get married again. You don't need to get back on that path. You can do anything that you want. And your wife, God bless her, she may have been the worst, you know what, in the world, but um, she gave you one wonderful gift, and that is the keys to the cage. You are free. You are free to walk about the planet. And when you see all those other married guys, when you go to those places where married people hang out, you know, you're in restaurants or whatever, and you see them with their little rug rat kids running around and they're pushing strollers and cleaning up vomit and changing diapers and, you know, and, you know, she's bitching at him and he's trying to, you know, keep his cool and, you know, and you can just tell the sour look on their face. Oh my God.
I had to pick up breakfast for my family um, at a restaurant in town, and it's one of those places that it's like a diner's. So on Sunday mornings, you can imagine, the place is just packed. You know, there's just no parking even. So I go in there, and I've ordered the food in advance, and, and they're not ready. So I've got like half an hour to wait for them to fix my breakfast. And um, I'm just looking around the place at all these families and couples together. You know, I am so glad <laughs> that's not me. <laughs> you know, I was there. I did that. I've been in that, that guy's place. You know, I've been sitting in that booth with those kids and uh, that woman staring sourly into the menu. Just not happy, you know. It's like, God, I'm so glad I'm not there anymore. I'm so glad that's not me. And, um, you know, and I can tell the guy, I was watching this one guy in particular, he is trying to be such a good dad, you know, he's just hanging in there. And I look at her and she is just, she just looks like somebody pissed on her cornflakes the whole time, you know, and he's just trying to be happy and enthusiastic and the kids there and, and he's just doing everything he can to be as pleasant as humanly possible. And I don't think there's anything that he could do or say that would make her smile. You know, she just looks so sour. Anyway, in that moment, I realized I got the better end of this deal, you know, and that poor guy, he is the lion in the cage, you know, and um, I would not trade places with him for anything on the planet, nothing. So be appreciative of what you've got because it's a rare gift. You've been given the opportunity to break free of the paradigm, to, to tr blaze your own trail in life. You have this opportunity where you are no longer limited by someone else's needs, desires, wishes, whatever. You only answer to yourself. And um, now, what else could you ask for? What else could you ask for? And why would you want to, to have a, a, a marriage, a limiting relationship like that again? Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't date or you shouldn't you know, have fun with women. I think there's lots of great women to have fun with. Just don't give them a ring. Don't, don't let them move in. Don't get overcommitted. Enjoy them. Let them enjoy you. Be a great guy. Take them out. Show them a good time. Have fun. But that doesn't mean you need to get married. Just enjoy yourself, you know? All right, you guys, that's what I got for you today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please, um, please like and subscribe if you did and share it with other guys who think might need it or might be able to enjoy it. Or, or get something out of it. Remember, stay healthy, and if you can, stay single.